What's going on guys and welcome back to another episode of my next gen career mode. This is episode number 105 and we start today's episode off with a game against Borussia Dortmund here at the Signal Iduna Park here in the Bundesliga for the second game of the season and it's bizarre but this is actually exactly the same as last year. Um, we took on Borussia Dortmund in the second game of the season last year and we're facing them again uh, albeit I think the second game of last year was actually at home not away against Dortmund but still um, we do take on Dortmund. Uh, away from home here uh, again in the second game of the season after winning the first one by six goals to one against Wolfsburg what a win that was we now date uh, we now take on what is you know presumably going to be our title rivals again and I don't like to say it but it probably will be you know I mean I, I want to see change in career mode I want to see Bayern Munich come back and challenge us for the title I want to see a new team like Wolfsburg or Schalke or uh, last year's surprise package, Borussia Mönchengladbach, glad back uh, to, uh, challenge us for the title. But again, I think if anyone's going to win the title, well, it will be one of these two teams you see in here, either us or Borussia Dortmund. And the first chance fell there, Lasog went for the halfway line goal, but it went wide to post and out for a goal kick. And in the 40th minute, Nico Schultz goes down the left-hand side, now a first-team player of our squad. Haven't seen that since the first season. He crosses the ball in and picks out Lasog, but the header goes straight into the veteran uh, goalkeeper's gloves, Weidenfeller, and it is still 0-0. That was how the first half finish and in the second half the first uh, chance of the second half fell to Borussia Dortmund and Socrates won this header from a corner but it went wide the post and out for a goal kick so the Greek centre back couldn't make it 1-0 to the home side and in the 54th minute, you see Benteke get the ball to Lucas Piers on. The uh, two former Barclays Premier League members link up. And, well, as the cross was played in there, uh, Neuer comes out to deal with it. He didn't do a good job. We just about managed to get the ball clear and keep it at 0-0. So Neuer, not very convincing there, but at least he got the danger clear and we uh, kept the score at 0-0. And through the corner, it was played in. Uh, we got the ball away and we tried to go on the break here. It was a really good chance on the break as well, but I couldn't uh, squeeze it through to, uh, to Royce. And from that, Benteke let fly from a mile out and ended up Canning the ball off the crossbar and keep and the score is still nil nil as Boateng got the ball away so Benteke in particular was looking as dangerous as you like he almost scored from this free kick as well it's not a real surprise considering how uh, overpowered Benteke is on uh, on FIFA but even so it was still nil nil and if anyone was going to score a winning goal in this game it looked as though it would be Borussia Dortmund most likely through Benteke because again the big Belgian beast has a strike but the uh, Dortmund man can't beat Neuer and it's still nil nil and one of the last chances would fall here and injury time here as Dortmund went through again we really did struggle in this, uh, this game to contain him and as they came forward here number 14 collects it he gives it to Benteke and shoots but thankfully even with Neuer out of his goal Schultz dives in stops the ball from uh, uh, you know seemingly going on target and into the back of the net but he also had a man on the line as well so I don't think they were going to score that chance but regardless the game did finish 0-0 and yeah it was a really disappointing game I have to say don't get me wrong very pleased to get a clean sheet especially away against you know probably the strongest side other than us this in in, uh, in this league very good clean sheet there Having said that, in the last episode, I said, you know, we scored six goals against Wolfsburg. Again, another good side. And I was hoping to score a lot of goals this year. And in the second game, we've uh, we've been forced to get no goals whatsoever. And you have to say as well, we didn't play well in that game either. I think Dortmund were a lot better. And in all honesty, if it wasn't for uh, Neuer making a couple of good saves and my defending being pretty good at some points, especially in that last clip, you know, we probably would have gone on to lose the game. So I'll take the draw. It, it wasn't the result we wanted, but, you know, I'll take the draw considering the fact we were uh, the worst team on the day. But still, uh, we decided to go in uh, for a new player and that was Thomas Muller of uh, Bayern Munich now to be honest I'm not really fussed if we get him or not you know he's valued at 20.5 mil but Bayern Munich are probably going to ask for around 30 to 35 million for him because of course he is one of their long term players at 27 years old now uh, time goes by so quickly and uh, it's it's still hard to forget he's so young <laughs> you know it really is but uh, he's 27 years old now in the game and you know we put a bid for him uh, putting a bid for him but to be honest I don't think we're going to be able to pull it off it will be an amazing Amazing signing if we got Muller, no doubt about it. Because of course, he can play out wide and through the middle, but I can't see it happening. Um, the goalkeeper situation as well, you guys have seen. I, I would like another goalkeeper, a third choice goalkeeper, but it's really frustrating right now because the clubs, Dusseldorf, uh, who's the other one? Who's the other one? Is it Cologne, I think it is? Well, it's Dusseldorf anyway, and uh, basically, the, the two clubs we're going in for goalkeepers, you know, they just keep on rejecting the bids, and I don't really want to pay, you know, like £3 million for a third choice goalkeeper, you know, but uh, Dusseldorf did accept a two 
2.4 million pound bid for, uh, for Fabian uh, Giefer. And of course, I can check these players' overalls because I now manage Germany. This guy is a 77, I think it is right now. And he does look pretty decent. And Trap is an 83 rated goalkeeper. But I don't think we're going to spend 6 million on him, considering the fact he'll be, uh, without, well, he'll actually be a second choice goalkeeper. And Bauman will drop to the reserves. But I don't particularly want to spend uh, so much money on a goalkeeper who will rarely play. But uh, Bayern Munich as well, you would have seen they, they weren't interested in us getting Muller. That, that's not going to happen, I'll say that right now. He's, he's too expensive for us. And in order to bring in Thomas Muller, we'd have to sell one or two more players, which I don't want to do. So it's not going to happen. But I put in a loan bid for uh, that goalkeeper there, Baum Johan of uh, FC St. Pauli or St. Pauli. Uh, clearly a regen slash new gen. He's actually, uh, and again, I can check the rating, so I can tell you what rating is. He's 64 overall in the game, and he is loan listed. Now, of course, I said, this goalkeeper who we bring in will most likely be third choice because Bauman is 79 overall. That's pretty good. And uh, Neuer is 87 overall. That's pretty amazing. One of the best goalkeepers in the world. I think actually the best goalkeeper in the world at this point. So, you know, we don't particularly need um, a third choice goalkeeper. So I thought, Do you know what, instead of spending a few million pounds on one why don't I just bring in a player on loan because he won't ever play anyway it's just for peace of mind so we'll probably look to bring in that guy on loan because even if he is a low overall at 74 he won't play and you know it will just be just four grand a week that's all it will cost us it seems logical really to do that instead of spending a few million on a player who will never play but uh, even so we did take on uh, FC Augsburg here uh, for the second and final game of today's episode Neuer made a really good save there early on and in the 20th minute we all Almost made it 1-0. Flume uh, coming forward there, our new holding mid. But the goalkeeper made a good save and kept the score at 0-0. And just before half-time, another chance for us here. Lasoga collects the ball, slides it out wide towards Flume. He was running things, really, from our holding midfield slot. He kept on running forward. You know, he's got high, high work rate, so it's not a real surprise. But he kept on getting the ball in good areas. And he, don't have, he doesn't have the best of uh, attacking creative uh, uh, stats in terms of uh, shooting and scoring. But he's got some really good all-round stats regardless. And he created a chance there, which won us the corner and from that we crossed the ball in and Lasaga heads it into the back of the net so 1-0 to us on the stroke of half time exactly what we like to see and uh, just past the mark, a good chance here for Augsburg some lovely football saw G come forward here and shoot from range but Neuer he, he had it comfortably dealt with there a simple save for Neuer and he kept the score at 1-0 to the night G and from the corner, it's crossed in by uh, S. Fine here. Uh, S. Fine crossed the ball into the centre, and uh, the header is comfortably dealt with by our goalkeeper. And from that, we quickly qu uh, kick the ball out towards Tony Kroos. The two former Bayern Munich le men link up. Kroos gives it to Lasaga. A great chance here. He step overs around his man, goes through one on one. Is he going to finish? Of course he is. Lasaga is not going to miss that chance. He makes it 2 0 to Herder Berlin in the 66th minute here at the Olympia Stadium, and we are surely going back to winning ways. So good finish by uh, Lasaga. Lovely little quick break there. As soon as Neuer got the ball in his hands, I know exactly what to do. We're two nil up, and in the 78th minute, Schultz ends up swinging it across. What a cross it was as well towards Lasaga, who wins their ball with the diving header, but he can't get his hat trick. It goes wide and out for a goal kick. So still two nil, but if anyone's going to score that third goal, it looked like being us. However, in the 90th minute, Augsburg came forward down the right hand side here. Uh, we couldn't get the ball away, and eventually a great cross is played into the far post, and the header is well dealt with by Manuel Neuer. Very good save there by our goalkeeper, and from the corner it is. Is crossed in by Svine uh, in to the center eventually and it's not really dealt with and it I've got to be honest it's a really scrappy goal that is poor I said this year I want to keep a lot more clean sheets playing for at the back Schultz now left back Boateng the new signing at right back I got to be honest that was as scrappy as you like that was really poor defending by me how I got how I didn't get the ball away there I do not know and uh, Augsburg scored a late goal so I got to be honest like, I was pleased to get the win don't get me wrong we were the far better side but it always hurt when you concede a goal in injury time, you know, whether you've, you know, not conceded or whether you're going to win the game or not, it doesn't matter. It's always annoying to know that you lapsed in concentration right at the end. So, very frustrating we didn't get the clean sheet. Very frustrating I threw it away in the 91st minute, but at least we won the game and we're back to winning ways. And after that, we did see that Baum Johan is coming in and uh, I'll be honest, I'll be completely honest, one of the main reasons I decided to sign him, well you'll see in his stats in just a minute, is because he's got a 5 star weak foot and 4 star skills, my my new third choice goalkeeper who will never play he'll only cost us 4 grand a week it's just funny because he's got 4 star skills, I just love it but uh, still Baum Johan comes in and again it just seemed logical to do that, instead of, instead of spending a few million on a third choice goalkeeper just buy a goal, uh, sorry just loan a goalkeeper 
uh, they won't cost us any money other than a few grand on the wage budget and it'll be a lot better for us but uh, the last thing you'll see is us going for two new strikers and we'll wait and see if we can get any of them in the next episode but as always guys a big thank you for watching the video I really hope you have enjoyed it if you have enjoyed today's episode of my next gen career mode then please do leave a like because that is much appreciated and it really does help my channel out and I'll see you for the next episode of my next gen career mode very soon